Hi everybody, my name is Brenda and uh, I go by the Poncho Lady. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you've been with me since uh, the beginning, I welcome you back. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad everybody's here. I have an update on those ponchos that um, I said in a prior uh, uh, video that I was going to be working on. Well, I got them finished. And both of them are um, made from a Bag o Day pattern, and it's called the uh, uh, it's Poncho with Sleeves. Now, for some reason, I'm having difficulties putting things in my description box in order to to share. I I put all the stuff in, and when I'm done, there's no button to, you know, like to complete it. it it's like what a, I I can't do anything else. So I'm I'm having until I figure it out, I'm having a hard time with that. So what I'm gonna say is, if you want this pattern, go to YouTube. It's done through a tutorial, and in the search bar at the top, just put Bag o Day. Do a space and put poncho with sleeves and you search. It's going to be that first one up on top. She's only made the one poncho with sleeves and it would be very easy to find. Really, I promise you. <laughs> so the first one that I made, um, I used five weight yarns and a bigger hook. Now, the poncho, my poncho turned out differently because I didn't put ribbing around the neck or um, around the wristbands. I just continued the flow of the, the stitch pattern all the way down and made more of an open sleeve. You know, less confinement on my arms is more comfortable for me. And I didn't do the ribbing around the neck because I want more of a drop here because I, I like wearing the big jewelry. As you can see, I love the big jewelry. Either it's uh, Avon or it's, um, oh, I can't even think of it. I have a friend that actually sells it. Well, you get the picture, right? You get the picture. I, big gaudy, the gaudy or the better. <laughs> so anyways, the first poncho I have is, uh, let's put, let's do this one. It is made with two strands held together. So um, the main one that I used to route was the um, dropping my yarn was the Lion Brand Shaw on the Ball. They don't make it anymore, and if they do, it's very limited on their sites. Maybe Joanne or Michael still has it. I'm not for sure. Maybe Joanne's has it. I'm not for sure, but there's only one uh, color way on the Lion Brand, and uh, and it's a cake, you know, same amount of yarn, but in cake form, and uh, that's it. And I'm kind of sad about it because this is one of my favorite yarns to work with, but it is what it is. I'll find something, you know, similar to it for future ponchos and shawls, whatever I make, but I took this one and held it together with the top part of that with just the pink and that is the um zz twist and it's also from lion brand i did so many rows of it i got rid of this color and i um added this color to it it's a purple and it's from yarn art holding these two together now and then the bottom part I did it with the three weight of um, the black. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. But we know how this goes from light and, and gradually gets darker. So when it got to the darker color, it started mixing with the black. I was amazed at how this looked when it was done. I mean, I had a general idea of how I was hoping it would come out. But nothing like it came out. I I surprise myself sometimes, folks. I really do. But uh, I'm going to stand up here 
in the mirror and put it on. It just, it's just so pretty. Look at that. I wanted to get the... See how that black went in with that... Uh, the darker on that... Uh, showing the ball. Started out with the lighter and went, you know, darker. It's just gorgeous. Let me let me put it on. <laughs> I've got a mirror over here I gotta look into, you know. Now like I said, isn't that gorgeous? I love it. I love the way it looks, you know. Ah. <laughs> but like I said, and I didn't do the sleeves on this one. I just left it as a poncho. In, in a shorter version of it and I left the the uh, top open because like I say I like the big jewelry if I would have put the ribbing up at the top um, I would have um, wearing my my jewelry I'm afraid it would snag my crochet items so and I used a bigger hook now she if I'm not mistaken, I think she uses a um, an eye hook in the tutorial. I or J, I'm not for sure. I went and used a... Um, good question. I think I used an M hook for this. Either eight millimeter or nine millimeter. I've been uh, I've been using them off and on, so kind of messing myself up. I should have wrote it down, but you get the general idea. The stitches are open more. I did not change the stitch count of my starting chain. She did eighty with her smaller hook, which brings it up farther, about up to here, because then you get the neck ribbing. I went bigger with the hook, so it gave me the off-the-shoulder look. This is what I like. So, like I said, I did less rows, and then I took the solid black, two strands of the black, and made uh, one row of the black just to bring it out. Not too much, because I wanted to coincide with the black that I wear. So that's this one, which, like I said, I... Just gives me enough to cover the back. Not too much. I'm not sitting on it. I like it. It's comfortable. It's beautiful. I like it. Don't mind that box there. You know, that stuff's still there from the last video. Okay, now we got another one. And I do want to change out my necklace because this one actually doesn't go with the, uh, the uh, poncho that I have here. So I do want to take this one off. Put this other one on. Now this poncho, same pattern, but I made it to where it did have the sleeves. But the neckline is just kind of like the one um, I just did on the first one that I showed you, okay? And that's how this one turned out. It's almost like a sweater poncho with the sleeves. The sleeves do uh, exist in the uh, original tutorial. She did the ribbing band. I chose not to do that. I chose to just continue because she starts you off at the, the start of the, the sleeve. And I just continued all the way down. I didn't stop and make, like I said, the ribbing, the tighter around the, the wrist. I wanted it more open. And that's why I chose how I did mine. Now, the top is the same. It's open. It's not so much off the shoulder, but it is open for me to wear. Uh, my... Um, gaudy jewelry <laughs> people would call it gaudy I, I i call it beautiful you know i i love all that old jewelry that you know existed back in the 20s and 30s and 40s if i can get a hold of some of that i i'd be happy as a lark but it turned out really good i love the colors in it 
and the yarns I used on this was actually, I'm getting yarn fuzz all over me. Um, and I did the same concept in this now. The very top, this was a, a heavy four weight, almost a five, I guess. And it's that, um, I can't get my glasses on. I'm going blind, guys. The Louisa Harding yarns. Um, like I said, it had the merino wool and the silk and polymade in it. That is the very top of this right here. That's what I started with. And that's and it's here, and it's the majority of my sleeve up to here. I really liked that, and at the bottom. It is so soft, and it's not itchy. With the wool in it, merino wool is so soft. So I took that. Now this here is a, a heavy five weight. It was almost a six, and I it was a uh, it was a hank that was given to me, and I wanted to um, and it was silk. I don't even have the label anymore, but that's all I have left of it. But I just ended up only doing two rows of it. Like I said, I was going to incorporate it in there just to bring out the poncho. And I'm glad I did because I like it. Now this is... Um, let me see. I thought I had some wrapped around a... Sticker. I don't know where it's at. Thought I had it here. I think it's yarn art. I think it's yarn art that I had. Just a minute. It's missing in action. Well, that's sad because I just had it here earlier. I thought I had everything. Well, I took that yarn art purple. Oh, there it is. It's down here. <laughs> it was on the floor with the other stuff. I took this yarn art purple and mixed it with... this willow yarns those two together is what give me this look here this one this v that's those two held together two strands together and just crocheted like i said i have a bigger hook so it's it's uh make keeps it open the stitches open not too confined and heavy um now this this one here is actually um, a little bit of homespun yarn I had laying around. Yeah, I threw homespun in there. <laughs> like I say, I'll throw anything in a poncho. I really would. If I think it's going to look nice, I'm going to put it in there. Now this here, the dark, is, uh, let's see, that black yarn that I got from um, Hobby Lobby and Hershner's worsted together. So that's what created the darker. And I just, for the sleeve, like I said, I did the uh, the silk, and then these two were this one here, and then the dark. Just one row of that dark in there, just to bring it out a little bit. And I have fuzz all over my face. And uh, that's what's in this one. This is That's how I created this poncho. Like I say, I mix my stuff. I'm not afraid to put different uh, yarns, different yarn companies together. If I see the colors I like, I'm going to grab them out of my bins. And I'm going to put them together and I'm going to create something very nice for myself. So that's what this is. Now, I had a, uh, um, a friend post... Um, that a local nursing home was looking for crocheters 
to make pond or to make shawls for the residents. Um, and I want to take it upon myself to volunteer and, you know, make a few myself. Well, I, I made one last night. Um, it's, um, it's a triangle one and it, it is also a pattern from ba Bag o Day. It's called the Pure Innocent Shawl. And hers is all white using, uh, um, for the love of me. I know it's Lion Brand. <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't really matter. It does, but it doesn't. But I use regular uh, acrylic yarns. Um, and that, this shawl, I use uh, Red Heart uh, bunches of hugs. Um, I don't know. I can't see it, see what color, but you can, you get the idea. <laughs> and I use this, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, guys. Mm -mm. I got that on sale for $7.99 for a, a huge ball from uh, Hobie when they had them on sale a couple years ago. And it's like a bluish and purple tweed kind of like thing. It's really pretty together. Um, that's why I kind of pulled in this uh, worsted from Hershner's and with it. So these three yarns is what I made the shawl out of with these items. Um, and made this uh, shawl right here. Oh, it's starting to turn. Let me stand up here. This is purple. I don't know why this looks like it's pink, but it is purple. The Tutorial itself does not add this uh, lace work at the the end, but it's two rows that I added to it just to, you know, bring, you know, just my take on it. But that's, that's the shawl right there. So, and I, and I just wanted to make... Uh, a couple of them and it's the next town over and um, as soon as I'm done with them I'll uh, drop them off and uh, some it'll keep some you know one or two of the residents warm but there was a bunch of people that was volunteering so I don't feel so bad if I only get two or three done because there was like 30 comments and uh, the community here is just uh, amazing to do stuff like that and I wanted to do my part in it. So I have a couple more to do. I don't know what patterns I'm going to grab, but uh, I have an idea which ones, but um, that's what I'm up to to help others. And it makes me feel good. But I do have another item on my hook, and it is another one of these ponchos. And uh, I anticipate on making it the same way. Maybe it'll be more off the shoulders and I wanna add the sleeves to this one also. And the yarn I'm using, I'm not gonna show you the the part of the poncho that I have. Uh, I want it to be a surprise when I am completed with it. But it's using two yarns that you would never think would look good together. But as I'm crocheting it, I'm in awe. I'm sorry. I, I'd i love to show you, but I like to show people my final thing. You know, I showed you a little bit of this uh, last, what, two videos ago, a video ago or something. I showed you a little bit of it, and I'd like to keep the rest of it as a surprise. So this is a yarn. I think it's Lion Brand. I can't remember the name of it because the label is off of it. I, might have, I may have purchased it and got it cheaper because the label didn't exist. You know, I could have gone into the store at uh, uh, Joanne's or something and um, come across it. And what it is, it's four uh, strands. It's not twisted together. But it's a gradual change. Like, say, it starts off with four strands of all one color. And as you work with it, it starts changing. 
by leaving three of the original color strands and then they add the fourth one is a different color. And as you work, only two strands of the original color, now two of the second color. And it just gradually gets into the next color. And uh, then it becomes a solid color, all four strands. And then as you work with it, then they throw another one color strand. You see how that's working? So what I'm adding, holding two yarns together, I'm using this. <laughs> and believe it or not, that. It's Premier Yarns Cotton Fair. <laughs> and this has got wool in it. I know it's got wool in it. So cotton and wool is going in this one. And it's Premier. It's uh, got quite a bit of cotton in it. You, you look at them and think, are you really going to put those two together to create something? Yeah, why not? 52% cotton and 48% acrylic. And this is cotton and acrylic. So those two are being incorporated into a poncho with sleeves. <laughs> yeah. If I run out of this and I need to extend my um, poncho longer, I will find something that has this these colors in it not out here but out of this maybe the the uh um maybe the orange you know maybe the pink i'll find something in my stash if i have to add it and then i will make the sleeves out of that too because i'm not gonna have enough to do the whole poncho but this is what i'm starting the poncho out with and i i'm i'm really liking the idea i'm liking the concept of it i'm loving the way it's turning out it's I'm surprising myself on some of these guys. <laughs> when I picked it up and thinking, God, how's that going to look? Ah, go for it. So I did. So I did. I even thought about getting some uh, uh, pink and um, or some of that orange and putting the, some brown in it. Because I never did use this. And then the poncho, I keep looking at it. And it, it's only, it's a, like a one, two, maybe. A, a thin tune, but um, one of these days I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that yarn. I don't know where at, but it's going to get in something. I keep looking at it. I could put it over there and say, Brenda, you're going to use it. So that's what I uh, have been up to. That's what's been on my hook. That's what I've completed. And uh, like I said, my goals are to get a couple more uh, shawls done for the nursing home um, in my neighboring town. And to complete this poncho, and who else, who knows what else I'll come up with, what I'll start. Once I get that done, I'm going to sit there and say, what else do I got over there? <laughs> Let's put some uh, crazy yarns together and see what we come up with. Just as long as it's not a drastic change in short colors, I kind of stay away from those. I, I think it's too much. It's too too um, too busy for me. But the gradual of this, you know, you got long stretches of white and then a little bit of pink. Long stretches of white and then pink. I can tolerate that. And that's why I, I picked it to put it in with this, uh, sorry about that, um, this poncho here. I can't wait to get it done. So, um, that's all I got. So, anyways. That's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. You know, thanks for spending some time with me. <laughs> yeah, that crazy lady with crazy yarn ideas, but uh, it is what it is. So, anyways, guys, if you like this uh, video, um, give me a thumbs up. Share it if you like. Um, comment. Tell me what. Uh, how much of a fool I am with my uh, ideas. <laughs> Care. <laughs> That's what makes me me, right? So, anyways, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your crafting and keep those hands busy.
Bye.